Hi guys, it's Tony, and I am participating in another collaboration video. Now this one is given by the wonderful Luana of Wani's House, and I love this challenge. This challenge is called My Catalog Look for Less. Now one thing I love doing is looking in magazines and finding a beautiful object or a beautiful room and recreating that to make it a part of my home. So since it's fall and my favorite holiday is coming up, Thanksgiving, I couldn't wait to get to my dining room table. So I looked around in magazines and online and I found this really beautiful warm table setting. I found this on the Stone Gable website and I wanted to use this as my inspiration to create my own beautiful dining setting. So I wanna show you how I recreated this look for less using items that I found at Goodwill, Dollar Tree, and thrift stores. Now the first thing that caught my eye about my inspiration table was the centerpiece. I love the texture of the flowers. They were very warm and it was made up mostly of hydrangeas. Hydrangeas are my favorite flowers. In fact, I have a few bushes outside and some of them are starting to die. So I decided to take advantage of them. So I clipped some of the dried and dying hydrangea flowers from my bushes and I got some natural green spray paint and I sprayed the pieces to add new life and color to these dried flowers to use for my new centerpiece. Next, I needed to look for a vase to hold the flowers. Now this vase was made of stone and had a nice detailed rugged look. So I took a trip to Goodwill and I was lucky enough to find a ceramic vase that was very similar to the one that was in the inspiration image. It even had a few flowers that I could use. I also found a couple of candlesticks. Starting with the centerpiece, I took out all the old flowers and kept the ones that I thought I could use. Now this piece didn't have a lot of detail in it, but I thought I could bring out what was there by adding just a little bit of paint. And the inspiration photo, the vase and the candlesticks were about the same tone and detail. I wasn't able to find two wooden candlesticks that looked the same, but I decided to paint what I did have to give it that same aged look. So I painted the red candlestick that I found with chalk paint. To bring out the detail that was there with a thin brush, I painted with black and green into the crevices. And then with a damp sponge, I blotted and wiped very lightly around the piece. I did this to both candlesticks and the vase. To recreate my floral arrangement, I started with my dried hydrangeas. I used some of the flowers that already came with the vase. And I used a few flowers that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Now the inspiration piece also had some feathers and sticks shooting out of the piece. So I tried to duplicate that look with cattails and feathers that I got from Dollar Tree. The inspiration piece also had a few bronze looking pieces inside the floral arrangement. So for that I used these bronze pumpkins that I got from Dollar Tree. Now let's start putting the table together. The inspiration table had a very detailed white tablecloth as a base and I was able to find one very similar to that at Goodwill. Dollar Tree did have some nice brown placemats that I could use but they didn't have six of them. So to recreate my placemats I used kitchen towels. I ironed folds on the back side of the kitchen towels. First I folded the corners in. Then I folded the two points inward so that the lines wouldn't show on the other side. Then I just flipped those over on the table and I had my placemats. 
Next, I put my centerpiece out and my plates. I found these lovely pattern plates at a thrift store. It didn't have the brown color of the inspiration piece, but it did have some of the same colors as my floral arrangement. For the fancy folded napkin, I used these beautiful detailed napkins that I found at Goodwill. The peach color was okay because it brought out some of the colors in the plate. To make this fancy fan fold, fold the napkin in half, then fold it like an accordion, about one inch for each fold. Leave about two inches of the napkin at the end, then turn it over and fold that in half. And then you're gonna take the corner and tuck it in towards the bottom of the folds. And then stand it up and let it unfan right behind your plate. To match the glasses, I found similar tumblers at Goodwill, but I couldn't find six of the same one. So I alternated with a smaller version of the same color glass. To finish off the table, I added the candle holders, candles, some Dollar Tree ceramic pumpkins, decorations, and a few pieces I got from Goodwill. And when it was all done, I was able to bring that beautiful table I saw in the picture into my home for less than $50. Check out the information tab below where you'll find all the other awesome ladies participating in this challenge. Add me on Snapchat and Instagram for daily home food and gardening tips at Your Hustle Home TV.